What's up everybody, Dan with ToolsInAction.com. Today we're here at GIE 2013. We're with Carrie from Husqvarna, who's showing us the new cordless chainsaw and 36 volt lineup. So what do you got for us, Carrie? Yeah, we're showing our new exciting lithium ion technology chainsaws now, both in a saw with a rear handle, traditional style for cutting, bucking, limbing work, and also our new professional line uh, for work aloft, arborist work aloft. Okay. Handle located on the top, to keep the length of the saw, minimizing that so an arborist can work in tight spaces aloft. Also, it allows the saw to be pulled up with the operator or pulled up through the tree uh, a little bit easier, just being a little bit less Right, less it's distance. compact for sure. That's Very for compact. Sure. The lithium ion technology, our 36 volt, is such that it just pops out. This battery works in other chainsaws as well as our trimmers, our hedge trimmer line, blowers, all the other tools that, that have this and it simply just pops back in. To tell if the battery is charged or not, you can press a, a button here and the four LEDs, green for environmental, uh, are gonna give you a read that, that it's fully charged, ready to go. Right. It does come with a charger. Most guys that are using the saw professionally in testing will have a battery on charge with an inverter in the truck and then the existing battery in use. What we've got this worked out is that the runtime is approximately 30 minutes and the charge time is approximately 30 minutes. So an arborist can be aloft with the saw working it okay. and certainly in the time that he would use it, which would be 30 minutes straight running, that battery in his truck is gonna be fully charged, ready to go. So he's gonna have no downtime, no issue with waiting on a battery charge. Right, great, great. Real it's good. as simple as pressing a button here. You see the LED light green comes on the chain brake is on, the red light flashes, that means the saw will not operate. So the chain brake does have to be off and very snappy and ready to use. Chain brake on, again, it won't use. We also have an ecosystem here. When you put the E battery uh, button on, you lose a little bit of the torque, but you increase some of the longevity gotcha, of the run. Okay. So if you're just cutting little branches and that kind of thing, that would be a mode to give you a little bit longer run time uh, right. with the unit, if you will. And a great advantage that I'm seeing to this too is early morning work. Now they can go get the job done a little earlier or in maybe retirement neighborhoods, communities where you just can't have a traditional saw making a racket. Dan, that's huge. Uh, noise uh, pollution and abatement and so forth is big focus where an arborist can get out on a job very early in the morning. There is literally no noise to it. Uh, there are no emissions for the operator. There's no maintenance. There's no cost right. in maintenance. It goes on and on. And it's environmentally friendly also. Very important. So. It is environmentally friendly. Uh, we're not creating any emission with the saw. Cool, very cool. And what kind of warranty are we looking at on this product? Well, right now, the warranty hasn't been set for exactly, but we're looking at uh, roughly a six, 600 to 800 charge time warranty on the saw. In other words, okay. full charges, 600 to 800 full charges uh, that we will uh, stand by the saw on, if you will. Okay, cool. And the, the unit itself comes with a charger and two batteries? The, the unit right now is set to come with the saw, two batteries, so one can be charged, one working, and the charger with a regular volt, uh, regular plug-in system, and then an inverter or adapter would make it adaptable to your truck. Cool, very cool. And I know, like, uh, in Chicago, we call them top saws, but basically, you know, just the light this unit being so light, I mean, the guy's just gonna have it on his belt, not even know it's there. It's safer for him to climb the tree without that weight, without having to pull and yank, and that's taking some time or some energy from him just trying to start his unit up in the tree. I couldn't say so. it better, Dan. Look at if you go up aloft and you have to pull that saw six, seven, eight times, you're fatigued. And fatigue is the number one uh, cause of injury out there, and you're statistically now at a at a higher risk for right. an incident to occur. Right. Cool, good stuff. And then you also have a, a, some hedge trimmers and a weed whip in this lineup. We have three uh, string trimmers, uh, two straight shaft, one with bicycle bars, which gives you a little bit more comfort uh, for keeping it into the cut area, a loop handle trimmer, and then a curve shaft trimmer that keeps the head close to your body. Okay. Of course, the, the straight shaft units go under the trees a little bit nicer, a little bit stouter cabling in there and in our uh, hedge trimmer as well. So you have three saws, 
three trimmers and a hedge trimmer and more to come. Yeah, that's just the beginning. And like we uh, we actually got a chance to check out the uh, hedge trimmers and stuff and they're just so light. This yeah. It's amazing how much uh, weight has been shaved off with these tools. Yeah, the, it's you know? light enough as it is, Dan. You take that out, boy, there's nothing to it at yeah, all. It's, it's uh, like but it's, it's very high impact ABS polymer, the same material that we're making uh, using on all the products. It's, it's very uh, light, but it's very strong and ratty and resistance to fracture. Cool, and then there's also a new kind of cap design on this tool. Oh, great, yeah, this is our, our push torque, or I just call it push torque, but it's a, it's a cap that, you know, as the saw heats up this area, expansion occurs and it gets real hard to get the cap off. So you literally just push down on this and that That's gives you great. some lever area to take the cap off and down. And we have this such that there's no way it can open up on an operator and leak oil out uh, without you pushing down and using that lever action. Right. Yeah, great stuff from Husqvarna. Uh, if you guys want, check out Husqvarna's website. I believe it's Husqvarna.com. We'll have some more reviews coming up on this stuff and uh, check out Tools in Action. Thanks a lot, Carrie. Thanks, Dan. Hey, you guys be safe out there.